had a walker in college. Try getting a boyfriend with a walker. How about that? Yeah, it didn't it didn't happen for me for quite some time. Hello, my name is Tasha Adams, and this is Women's Health Body Scan. A body part that I have grown to love are my boobs. They kind of come out of nowhere. It's, it's not something you really prepare for. You don't know ex exactly how big they're gonna be, what they're gonna look like, and it's something that is very unique to every individual. And it can be something that people kind of feel really insecure about, whether they're too small or too big, or how do you dress them. I did kind of struggle growing up um, feeling a little insecure about that because I could put on a bikini and I'm just wearing the same bikini as my girlfriend, but because I have a bigger chest, it looks like I'm trying to flaunt my body or um, you know, I'm putting myself out there. At a young age, because I knew my boobs were bigger, I was kind of more conservative with my clothing style. Um, as well as when it came to dating people, I guess I was really self-conscious about my body. Like I never, like being naked or um, wearing something revealing was, it took a hot minute for me to get there. Cause like, oh God, is he just gonna stare at my boobs? Or does he like big boobs or does he not? It's a struggle that girls have and, and women deal with. And it sucks that something as beautiful as boobs that God has blessed you with is something that you also can find um, a huge insecurity. Like even for bachelorette. Bachelorette, that's definitely my style, but it was a little bit more risque than I normally wear day to day. I really showed off my boobs and that's not something I've been used to. But again, within the last year and a half, I've really become really confident in my own body and just seeing that as I'm a sexy woman and I should be embracing that and I should be proud of what I have. So with that, um, I told Carrie, our stylist, I'm like, let's go for it. I don't want to look back and be like, oh, I should have like been a little bit more risky. Like, no, I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm looking for a man and you know, I feel really good about myself and I want them to know that they're dealing with someone that's confident and someone that walks into a room and is proud of who they are. I am very lucky to have a man that tells me quite often that he loves every single thing about my body. It's an easy thing to say and <laughs> kind of just like, oh yeah, 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 but it's the truth. I mean, like he will come up to me and he'll just start like rubbing my feet out of nowhere and just be like, I just love your feet, Tasha. Like, I just, I, I just love everything about you. Or he'll come around to my shoulders. Like, I love, like, <laughs> I love your shoulders. I just love rubbing your back. Um, like he highlights how much he just loves me as a person. And I think that that has made such a difference in my own confidence with myself. Because if he loves me for everything, like and I don't love me, then we have a problem. So just with how much he's loved me and how much he just accepts me for who I am has made me be like very confident and secure with what I do have and not stress about, okay, cool, I'm now in New York and it's cold and I'm eating a little bit more pasta than I should. And <laughs> maybe I've gamed a pound or two, but who cares? You know, I'm happy, he's happy, he loves me for just the way I am and eat the pasta. <laughs> Have I ever broken a bone? How about I fractured my pelvis because I was ran over by a truck? <laughs> I laugh about it now, but it was intense. It was actually my freshman year of college. It was my second week into college. I remember I was working on my bio homework and I went down to the vending machine to get some Skittles. A truck rolls by and it was actually my friends. So I ended up going to go talk to them. I'm like hanging off the side of the truck just kind of talking to them. They steal my Skittles bag and I'm like, oh my God, I give my Skittles back. I end up like hopping into the truck a little bit more and someone was holding me and his name was Charlie. And I got my Skittles back and Steven was like, okay, we're leaving. And I'm like, hold on, I'm just hanging here. And Charlie was like, no, it's okay, I got you. And then Steven hit the gas. He hit a really skinny yellow speed bump and he slammed on it. My head went up, I hit like the top of the truck, but the one arm started hanging off of the other side of the truck. My body flipped around, was dangling. The tire went over my foot, brought my entire body down, went over my body, fractured my pelvis. It was quite the story. Um, it was quite the scene, I guess. I mean, it took me out of my running career in college. Um, 
and I had to switch dorm rooms because I couldn't walk. I had a walker, but I recovered about, I don't know, three, four years later. I'm good to go now. I'm running again. My go-to tip to get the best arms possible is to start boxing. I fell in love with boxing about a year and a half ago and I cannot get enough. In fact, at one time I was kind of contemplating if I should start getting in the ring <laughs> because I grew to like, like it so much. I do have a trainer that I do box with one-on-one -on -one, and he does fight and he's trained a lot of fighters. Um, so with that, we've kind of like sparred, if you will. Um, I have gotten hit in the face. <laughs> Um, he does always apologize afterwards, but I'm like, who cares? Like, let's keep going. And my goal every day is to try to hit him in the face. Cause if I hit him in the face, then I get a free session. So skin, 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 skin. I have become a beauty junkie within the last like five years. And that's because my skin actually is, I'm a pretty acne prone, but I didn't start really breaking out until after like college and then after college. So I'm dealing with like hormonal um, adult acne. And with that, it's a, there's a lot of products out there. And so um, I have been just trying to find the exact formula and, and, and routine that my skin praises me for. I am obsessed. And when I mean obsessed, I mean, I don't go anywhere without it. It is my blemish age defense from SkinCeuticals. It is a game changer for me. That's number one. Number two is sunscreen. I love my sunscreen. Sunscreen's a very finicky thing, um, especially for a woman of color. I feel like sometimes there is, there's a residue or a sheen that it leaves on your skin that can kind of turn you a little bit purple, if you will. So finding the perfect sunscreen for me was very, very, very imperative. Um, Super Goop has an amazing unseen sunscreen as well as um, Ulta MD is probably one of my other favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Women's Health.